Once upon a time. I wish all the more than anything, say, more than life. Once upon a time, in this really enormous place called Russia, which was cold a lot, but actually very beautiful. Is he five stars. years old or just in assuming Russia, we are? Like a king. Are we all on the same page? Russia Wait. for Dummies, Chapter and One? The yep. Name was Nicholas II. And this czar, who was really nice once you got to know him. Yeah, if you weren't queen. Jewish. His name was Alexandra. Oh, she was very beautiful. But she right. really needed so to use the little Tsarina's room. Children, the handsome, daring, and brave Prince Alexei. Pretty spry for a Same kid with hemophilia. Myth, but basically all right, Princess Titania. And the youngest, Princess Anastasia. Oh, and there were two other daughters, Pretty but they good, were cut huh? during previews. Yes, I know. Anyway, this family all lived happily in this fantastic house, which was called the Imperial Castle of Moscow. Shown here in a large open field, nowhere near it was Moscow. A place too, let me tell you. But that was a long time ago, before the time of marching boots. Oh we oh yo oh we oh yo. Please, Papa, I need you to support my freakishly large head! But that last cold winter. So there was no more winter in Russia ever? Wow, global warming has been a problem a lot longer than we thought. Is the secret that she actually did die? Because we already knew that. Oh, I need some lotion. My Winnie is chafy. Well, Goofinoff, is she up there? Goofinoff! Goofinoff? I already hate this character. For this, I turned down a part in Game of Thrones! Sweet birdie. Goofing off, where's the girl? Where's the girl with the blaze in her eyes? All my sources point to this abandoned ruin. Sir, Grey Man, sir, is that what we're calling you these days? Or can I call you Christian? Ooh, that's Good. Spooky. <laughs> right. I can't breathe in this thing. He's a grand master of glowering. Oh, great. There's a Disney princess up there. The curtains have a nice timber, though. Belle's gonna come walking through here, even though the Beast specifically told her not to. Ladies and gentlemen, the Noob Cybots! The budget ran out, so they could only do the outlines of the characters. Wow, the T-Birds would envy that hair flip. Don't mind me, just enjoying my dramatic reveal here. <laughs> better, getting better all the time. Little braggy in spots, but much improved. Thanks, <laughs> and by that I mean... <laughs> it was her, old syrupy strings over there. She's always dragging the tempo. To play music is to live. To live is to suffer. We're to suffering, all right. 
is to suffer. What is she talking about? To suffer is to suffer. I, I would have thought the pipe organ would have been the most the emo of all instruments. You, of course, were sheer perfection, Anastasia. Yes, but such a sad song. I'm feeling sad a lot lately. I understand, dear. I'll get you some my doll. Then again, I suppose living in an abandoned building with a bunch of squabbling instruments would depress anybody. <laughs> You behave yourselves with a proper quartet, not some common street band. Yeah, act like dignified abominations of nature. Oh, poor Tuba. That's the first real laugh I've had in so long. Other people's pain is funny. Happy to help out. I love you. Lord Voldemort and Drag! I don't know what I'd do without you. Well, I don't know, buy a karaoke machine. Never have to find out. Now you hush there. We love you too, Anastasia. Almost You're as if we were the spirits of your dead back. family reincarnated but in musical anyway, instruments. Uh, not saying that we are the spirits no. of your dead family or anything, just a you hypothetical comparison. <laughs> just know that should that day ever come, you will be fine on your own. Pretending he's you beside you and all that. Who you are. But that's just it, dear heart. I feel as though I've no idea who I am. You are Anastasia. Yes, but... Who exactly is that? An unfortunate the combination of Ariel and Cinderella, I'm guessing? The memories are still there, my dear. They will show themselves clearly to you when your heart is ready. A uh, fancy way of saying when it's convenient to the plot. You, that knows who you truly are. But it is so difficult to trust that voice. Especially when it tells me to burn things. Lies within you. Sometimes you must leave all that is familiar behind you. Candy Graham. Damn it, can't those Verizon people read the no soliciting sign? Come along, now, come along. Did you hear that massive voices? Footsteps. That's they were going to send him to Siberia, but they didn't want to torture the other prisoners. Right. Keep moving, the background can't repeat forever. Wow, they had My Little Pony back then, too. <laughs> yeah, pillows, that will keep out the armed thugs. Oops, sorry. Got carried away. Open in the name of the checker. Yeah, the checker. This is no neighborhood watch. This is no welcome wagon. This, this is, is no not my beautiful house. This is not my beautiful wife. Right. What do we do? Calm yourself. What can I do? I'm just a cello. I'm going to go write poetry on my tumbler. I'm scared, Anastasia. Do you know what they do to concertinas in prison? Be still and listen, Anastasia. Yeah, can you help me? My hair seems to have swallowed my hand. Damn, we can't seem to get this door down. They must have put pillows in front of it. Well, good thing the magically extending curtain was there. This plan may have a few drawbacks! New this year to the X Games. Them, you nincompoops. Can't, we're only ten minutes into the movie! Yeah, what he said, you nincompoops! Ooh. Right, I'm the nincompoop. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself. You're at least a moron. Indiana Jones slides by them on a life raft. What? No, in my strings, like the insidious frost that invades all our lives. Foil them. I knew we would. Excellent, Anastasia. Of course, the moisture is warping us beyond all recognition, but hey. 
Okay, we've escaped, but we'll be eaten by wolves. Well, you'll be eaten, Anastasia. They'll probably just mark us and move on. What the secret police want with us? Not us, Anastasia. You. You? But what do I have that could possibly be of any use to the bad Chekhov? The bad Chekhov? So they're gonna show her a gun in the first act and then shoot her with it in the third? We cannot ever go back. Never go back? That makes my cheeks sore. It means only that you must go forward. Come on, there's a lovely spot to die over here. Well, I suppose I could chop the cello and the harp up for firewood. Thomas was very cross with the Bolsheviks and vowed the gulag would not break him. Oh, that's pithy. You vexed me, squeeze toy. Deal with it, bubble bottom. Quiet, both of you. We're traveling incognito, so keep your voices down. From Just pretend we're an entirely different group of talking instruments. In incognito, the new word for traveling illegally without a ticket. Were they legally required to throw in slapstick every five minutes? I'll never see my room again. My home. It's the only place I've ever known. There, there. It's not as bad as it seems. Sure, I'm only being chased by the secret police, I have no money, and my only friends are a chamber orchestra. Things are just peachy. Please don't cry. No, really don't. You look freaky when you do it. Don't cry. See, even the luggage thinks this is stupid. That's it, I'm coming out. Covetous Shen, is that you? Uh, excuse me. A little help out there? Of course. Wait. Who are you? I? I am General Vladimir Vasilyanov Ikonovich, at your service. So, his dad's name <laughs> is Icon? outside the trunk to stand and salute. I remember an Ikonovich. Er, uh, I mean, uh, I'm not the dead czar. This could be the man. He seems perfectly harmless to me. We're on the run from the government, so there's no reason not to trust a member of the military. General? In the dreaded steamer trunk army? The no, the Bolshoi. We're doing the Nutcracker next know. week. Long since. Um, are your eyes supposed to take up half of your head? Well, General, now that you're free, you may go about your business, protecting Mother Russia from revolutionary luggage. Don't knock it. Those Samsonites are killer in the hands of a 300-pound gorilla. <laughs> you have the wit of a young Queen Alexandra. And yet... You're still you dumber than a bag of hair. Have we met before? You seem so familiar. I... That is impossible. I've been singing in a palace for the past several but years. Don't know why, I guess I just don't have anything better to do. I beg your pardon. I did not mean to offend Miss... Anastasia. What? My mom was a Fifty Shades of Grey fan, all right! What are you saying? You even happen to look a little like she would have looked if she was still about. But she moved to Ann Arbor three years ago. <laughs> Crafty. Good. I like that. I suppose you don't know there was a princess, Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov, the Tsar's youngest daughter, long since presumed dead. And since your name is also and Anastasia, obviously you're pretending to be her. Pound sterling. The entire Romanov fortune lie in a bank in Copenhagen awaiting her return if Rumors prove true that she is alive. Fortune? No, I... But thanks for the exposition. And I suppose you are blissfully ignorant of the fact that a veritable army of young girls have stepped forward attempting to claim the boodle. You leave my boodle out of this, mister. You claim to know nothing of this? I know nothing of this, sir. Or anything mm. else, really. I see. Well, you have the wit to be the princess. None of the regal bearing, of course. Don't worry, I know a linguist in London who can help us out. And expertise, I just might be able to pass you off as Anastasia. But I am Anastasia. Yes, you keep on telling yourself that. What a major loser! Mystery Instrument Theater 3000. I like that man. Are your instruments shushing Listen us? Listen to me. You want to know who you are? Yes. Oh, yes, very much. Then here's the deal, Princess. 
I take you to Copenhagen, put you up in a nice hotel, take your meals, clothes, everything. Wi-Fi account, hygiene products, unnecessary plastic surgery. And we split the Roman fortune. And to show you what a generous guy I am, I'll only take 60%. 10%. Sorry, I don't negotiate with brass instruments. Tell you what, split the difference 20%. And may I say, you have a lovely baritone. What the? I throw my voice. <laughs> it's just a little talent I have. Along with passing off completely implausible excuses. Let's just hope that you're as adept at impersonating a princess. Dude, I am the Danny Gans of princesses. Why is a general of the Tsar's army hiding in a steamer trunk on a train? Why is a former princess traveling alone on a train? Crying and obviously in hiding. You're right, I don't really care about your backstory anyway. Well, as it happens, I have been looking for the Princess Anastasia. As it happens, so have I. What a happy coincidence. Eh, coincidence, Perhaps plot device, six on one hand, half dozen on the other. The conductor. Where is Who does he expect to collect oh, tickets from? The luggage? Oh, for pity's sake. Pique? What are you doing? Come on, jump. It's the only way. Well, we could sneak out the back. The only way, damn it! And my industrial strength hair dryer, I can't live without it. No way. Uh uh, not doing it. I wonder if it's too late to find a girl who doesn't have a pathological attachment to musical instruments. Our first step will be to fool the gaggle of Russian emigres, dukes, counts, and everyone else under the sun who flocked to Copenhagen. Good thing Copenhagen was just over the hill there. They want a princess, we'll give them a princess. They shouldn't be too difficult to fool. It's Grandmama. Julie the Andrews? Empress to you. That'll be the tough nut. She's a stone, that one. And rules the social circles here with a fist of iron. We have to convince her. All else is lost. Dowager Empress. I remember when she came to my birthday party. She gave me a lousy 50 yeah, kopeck yeah, yeah, piece yeah, and told yeah. me not to spend That's it all in one place. It's no anger, Ikonovich. I am the princess. You're starting to bring it all back for me. Well, good. Now we don't have to worry oh, about any actual tension in the story. All right. Vladimir. These blasted instruments, why must you carry them with you wherever you go? I don't. I make you carry them, remember? It's all I have left of them. Oh, if only my hands still worked. Come on, then. And there'll be a healthy tip in it for you. Eat broccoli, lots of beta carotene. If your parents had left you something useful, like stock certificates, gold, jewelry. Yeah, well, they were kind of busy transferring their souls via dark magics. Now you just try and get some sleep or something. We'll begin your lessons this evening. Vladimir, thank you. Am I supposed to start liking her yet? It's hard to tell. Rhubarb, rhubarb, comic relief, rhubarb. You're welcome. Wow, major delayed reaction there. Um, line. I love this city. It's so beautiful. And it's so good not to be frozen. Children, me. Who's hungry? Oh, Who's me! Hungry? I'll have some rosin and a bit of polish. Now, children, behave. You are right. Perhaps we should starve. You're dead oh, and in a cello. It's That's not like you need sustenance. Don't forget to beat the Honestly. We want some caviar. Not that orange stuff, but the real expensive red kind. On little toasty wedges. And cocktail weenies in that syrupy <laughs> barbecue sauce. Moderation. Moderation, everyone. And we'll have some smoked salmon. Braised duck. Oh, and how many kinds of blini do you have? Vodka. You're Vodka, that's nice. what I need to get and through this movie. And don't forget the borscht. And two hard-boiled eggs. Ah, make that three hard-boiled eggs. Crazy kids these days ordering room service for their instruments. Mmm, garbanzo pita. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's not annoying after five hours. Wee! Fun is fun! He gave up all hope of a tip three hours ago. That was horrifying. Oh my, 
You can say that again. You eat more than the Russian army. And I should know. I can explain. See, my instruments well, got hungry actually, and, uh... Explain. No need. I've been hungry before. After the revolution, I had nothing. Nothing. Nothing except my fabulous then, blue and sash. And, and right now, you are going to learn to become a princess. The very first Ooh, I don't want to know how the riding crop is going to play into this. hold it on top of my neck. Yes, quite funny. But becoming a princess takes more than a clever way with a punchline. Which is good because she really sucks at that. Posture straight, got in a bit, chest out a bit, now grin a bit, stick out that noble chin uh, what I wouldn't chin give to see this part done by the teacher in Whiplash. Thus to duchesses and dukes and girls as much as is expected of the lady that you are. Music by Gilbert and Sullivan and Dunkirk, attorneys at law. You but don't speak till they address you first. When you're called your royal highness, stand up straight and show no shyness, and they may ignore you too rehearsed. Now you. The rain in Spain stays mainly in the plain. And bow down low. And if I'm feeling shy, speak first, then cry. My dear, we've got a million miles to go. Oh no. Oh, she drives me slowly crazy. Like no one else. Well, this escalated quickly. What an awful lot to know. But you know all you want to know. Give her credit, she can really rock a tank top. But you have every royal trait to be. I admit I just can't wait to be a princess. Some people should just not harmonize. What are you doing? What am I doing? Looks what like every I romantic mean? cliche in the book. Yes, quite. I think you'll do just fine. Him? No. A princess and a rogue? It would never work out. Hey, nice to see Tom Thumb is still finding work. Just another desperate attempt to get it a Roman our fortune. We've seen it all before. Of course. She's Are they on a stage? Is this that weird production of Anna Karenina? But we haven't seen her yet. Irrelevant. The old duke is blowing more air than you, dear. And I'm unlike you, he doesn't shoot blanks. Man. Let's just see if I can provide some moral support. No. Um, your tuba is running away. Is that important? Chin high, but not as high as a queen. I know. What if they don't believe me? But they will. Believe? Do you believe I'm a princess? I believe I'm supposed to pretend like I don't believe that for the sake of relationship drama. A million pounds sterling. Oh, just do it on the ballroom floor already. Damn, I need to get my mustache aligned. Come, foolish girl. Oh, you have the cutest pet names for me. My friends, I'm, I'm huge. Here to welcome our very special guest. She's been through unspeakable hardships and perils. She Not better get started now. It's going to take forever to climb those stairs. Surviving on her own all these intervening years. But now I entreat you to welcome to Copenhagen, Lady Gaga. Nastasia Nikolaevna, last surviving heir of the Romanovs. And of the Romanov fortune. Well, Ann Coulter's not impressed. I... I wish to thank you all for being here. Especially you, Duke Brzezinski, for your charming hospitality. It's Wesselton! Don't try to curry favor with me, imposter. Well, can I try to Tandori favor with you instead? Santa! Any street urchin can be dressed up to look fancy and taught a lot of pretty words and ancient history. In fact, that's the new reality series I on Fox. For better of you, Econovich. But I should have known you are not above such flummery. No, really, it's more hijinks than flummery. Your Excellency, you haven't even given her a chance. Dramatic pose. Whoa! Dear Tuba, what am I to do? Stand firm, Anastasia. Remember who you are. 
Stanislavski moment. I am Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna Tsushinsky. So there. Acknowledge that fact or not. And may I candidly observe, Your Excellency, that you bear the same ill-mannered disposition today that you did at my fifth birthday party in the Imperial. Damn, Temple. she doesn't remember much, but she's holding on to that birthday party. Did a clown kill her other sisters or something? The servants' quarters in order to drink half the case of my father's best vodka. Well, now to be fair, that's where most adults would like to be at a five-year-old's birthday party. I, I won't. I just realized how ridiculous my hair looks. I mean, no, it isn't true. I mean, it's. All to the devil with you all. <laughs> she embarrassed the dwarf. She really is the princess. Thank you, thank you. I will be humiliating the rest of you later on. Your Majesty. Uh, okay, okay. Your saliva is seeping through my glove now. You can stop. I can almost smell that money now. I will never stop washing this hand again. Anastasia is strong. She has royalty in her blood, my dear. That's so fantastically great! Yes, so surely we can expect catastrophe at any moment. Oh, you mean the last half hour She's doesn't count? A princess. If only there were a prince. <laughs> Leopold! 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 Behold my batch! Oh dear, am I late? Again? It's become something of a chronic problem. Where is my royal assistant, Goofinoff? Is Goofinoff goofing off again? Hey, I just got that! Yum, yum. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm being obviously evil here. That raven just clucked like a chicken. We all heard that, right? Oh, friend to the birds. Well, he seems trustworthy. Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna, I have heard so much about you. You are more beautiful now than I could ever have imagined. He doesn't have a very good imagination. Line. Prince Paul, hmm. I seem to recall him, although it's been so many years. Seems a sturdy enough lad. He is the one raised Um, talking Romanov instruments? Do you have something you'd like to share with the it's rest of the class? Is a bit too perfect to be believed. What a what? Couldn't they have found her something nicer but than the plastic the party moment. tiara? Yes, but you remembered to bring my heart. Lucky you. Indeed. It's um, is your face stuck so like that? Long. Can I get you a doctor? Prince, princess, princess, prince. Now that we're all through with the introductions, it's time to mop up here and cash in the little lady's inheritance. Of course. Excuse me for establishing my obvious but evilness. That is not mine to make, nor is it yours. Of course, the Dowager Empress. Of course. But neither of you need to worry. I'll gladly give you an introduction to Grandmama, along with my highest recommendation. <laughs> Sorry, am I coming off as a little creepy? Not many people can palm their chin like that. You know, I'm starting to think something fishy is going on here. And over there is the river, and over there is a crudely dug pit in the woods, and oh wait until you see my crawl space! This is a lousy chase scene. Oh, come on, where's the flaming wheel? Well, Mommy Fortuna's outfit is looking even more run down than usual. So her choices are obviously evil dude and the creep who follows her around everywhere. Great. The librarians hit on hard times. I will pet him and keep him and call him Gregorvich.
Champagne makes me giggly! See, it's not stalking because I care about her so much. Even the key master doesn't want him. All skate, all skate. No, I'm not quite getting it. Maybe you could have him drown a puppy or something. At last I have found true love. Finally changed out of those uncomfortable white I mean mystery evil guy coming through. You agree to me with the lost princess? Or is this going to be another public relations disaster like last time? Christ, I missed the Cold War! Oh wait, we haven't had that yet, have we? And what would you have me do? I'm the princess. He's the prince. Isn't this the way you wanted it? Yes, I I just think it's creepy that he took out an insurance policy on you is all. What can you see in that oil slick? This General Ikonovich is becoming a major pain. <laughs> I made if a funny. Can we do something about him? Oh, major carpal tunnel syndrome. You're just... Just... Jealous. Jealous? Me? Of him? I mean, sure, he does have a nice ass and all, but... <laughs> well, he makes a good point. Don't cry, Dutramoy. Why did you call me Dutch Mayo? Nothing I do seems to please him. He doesn't care for me, only for the money he thinks I might make for him. Why can't he be more like Prince Paul? Gentle, brave. Looks great in a gray coat and red scarf. Just like you, there is more to a man's heart than what appears on the surface. You need to give it time. I know Prince Paul's heart. He's the one getting me an audience with the Dowager Empress. And he He's swore he knew nothing about the Black Mamba in my bed. The only one I trust. Silly, shallow girl. Ah, what do I care? Something I can do for you, gentlemen? Yeah, do you know a really good local restaurant? Okay, good job working the heavy bag. Now you can start hitting Soldier Boy. Well, that's enough Candy Crush for one night. Shire, begging. Oh, it's her. The general should be here. I can't face the Empress without him. Of course you can. You don't need Iconovich. After all, he's not the princess. Although he does you look are. fetching in a tiara. He didn't come back to the hotel last night. Probably met up with some old friends. No, it's not like him to... I'll be there. You'll be perfect. Trust me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing it again. Dang it! Okay, so nobody's finding it weird that she's taking those instruments literally everywhere she goes. They just load them up in the carriage, ferrying them to and fro, no questions asked. Then it's your big moment. I'm so scared. Nothing to fear. I mean, seriously, have you seen a harp? Those things are heavy, and she's just lugging it with her on all her errands. Candid camera! Come closer, child. Judy Dench! You are very pretty. The Bride of Frankenstein on her golden wedding anniversary. Oh, after all these years, you've hardly changed. You were a troll oh, then, too. To no, no, wow, she's a literal battle axe. Forgive me, Grandmama. I... How dare you address me like that? It's me, Ma, and Pray don't you forget it. Where did Ikonovich find you? In a tavern? On the street? In the gutter? He dressed you up, gave you words to parrot. Oh, come on, you're not being fair. She hasn't said one word about Polly wanting a cracker. Come, child. Have you no pat answer already, wit? Hmm, maybe you are, Anastasia. She was dumb as a post, too. 
There has only been a week. She must tear through I handkerchiefs by the survive. case. The memories that you dishonor with this charade are a great personal tragedy. Forgive me, Your Highness, if I have lost. She's a Jawa! But you consider that tragedy more yours than mine. I know that you consider it an opportunity to collect a sizable inheritance. Well, yeah, that too. Money. Aha, but you're aware of it. It's not why I've come. I'll give the money away. Yes, but unfortunately, you cannot give it away until you have it, and you cannot have it without my approval. So we'll never know. You cannot be so heartless. Come on, I just need my 10 million sterling to get me through my next pieces. payday. The piece is carried away by is a she shrinking? Charlatans exactly like yourself. If I am heartless, you are blameless only in that you have arrived too late to take any more of my heart from me. But you are now welcome to my generous eye baggage. For your money. So that I could be in a room with you again and feel what I felt when I was just a small little girl. But mostly I did it just because a cute guy in uniform asked me to. Once and for all, who I truly am. I need you. I need you to believe. Come on, clap your hands if you believe in Anastasia. Talented actress, mademoiselle. My compliments to your employer. But the Romanovs are dead. No matter what you say, what you do, or how you look, I will oh, never too close, a little too close. Otherwise. As a child, I cherished your visits to our family. As any child looks forward to a special treat or a new toy. Now I see that you are nothing but beep, a scared beep, old woman. Beep, 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 Well, I guess it's back to kicking orphans for me. Do not make light of it, Paul. This is not easy for me either. Oh, sorry, American Idol auditions next door. No, it cannot be. I thought we'd heard the last of this crappy I want song. Catchy tune. It's got a nice beat and you can before. dance to it. Because I've never sung it to anyone but Anastasia. This cannot be. It must not. Finally, someone speaking sense. Though the have torn us apart, and we don't know how or God, she's really butchering it. There, turned off my hearing aids. Perfect. Could somebody hand me my cloak? I'm freezing in here. Oh yeah, your tonsils are really inflamed. Anastasia, it is you. Yes, Grandmama, I've come back. Aw, how sweet. I mean, err, evil, evil, evil. I dare not even hope. It's her. It's really, really her. Yes, it is. And you two can finally be married. Married? Married. You were engaged when you were two years old. We wanted to no, do it when you were born, but we decided to wait until that. you were a little more mature. I suppose love conquers everything, wouldn't you say? Can you look love. past my obvious evilness? Married? Are you crazy? I mean, where will you even find a bridal body bag on such short notice? What do you know about him, except that he's a prince? What more do I need to know? He's a prince. I'm a princess. You've taken this whole princess thing too far. See, it's that kind of thing that got you fired from Disney marketing. It's not about the inheritance. It's all about that base, that base. I don't have to take this from you. I've been completely honorable and upfront with you from the beginning. Except where I tried to con you out of most your inheritance, but still. The one who found you in that baggage car. Well, technically you found me since I was locked in a trunk, but... Don't play the martyr with me, Vladimir Vasilyanov. You look terrible on a cross and you know it. anything for anyone but yourself. Ungrateful girl. Heartless mercenary. Don Bluth reject. Tom Selleck wannabe. I'm a princess. 
Nastasia, it's not like you to speak this way. She's yeah, well, situational well. narcissism's a bitch. Yeesh, you tell a girl she's a super special, long-lost princess, and suddenly it all goes to her head. Monsters, where's Alexei? If the sous chef is a rat, I'm leaving. Room service is nice, but I like going right to the source. Les poissons, les poissons. Oh, crap, I've got musical instruments. I'm gonna have to call the exterminator. Didn't Tom and Jerry do this routine? William and Kate? Must be hard to sneak when you're a squeeze box. Oh, what's she doing with that royal pain? And it has how many rooms to this? <sighs> the last well, season of The Bachelor has really gone That's downhill. The stable quarters with 200 separate rooms for each of your new white Arabian stallions. <sighs> it all sounds so charming. Well, after all you've been through, my darling, you deserve no less. Now here, let me see how this steak knife fits in your ribs. Oh. I don't remember you being this generous and kind as a child. That's well, because he was two years old. He was throwing tantrums and struggling with the finer points of toilet use. Huh, well, no tip for you. Do not move. Do not need to move. No, of course not. Here, take my wallet. It's yours. Just let me get the condoms out first. I think I might need them later. Don't resist, Anastasia. Occupational hazard. This kind of thing happens when you date a bad guy. The moment is bright. <laughs> a kidnapping? Last time we here. And it's infested with accordions. I am leaving such a bad review on Yelp when we get home. Doing fine, honey! Just want to finish my creme brulee first! See, here's your problem. You're dragging a harmonium. I quit. From now on, nothing but good old-fashioned cannabis. What are you going to do with me? You know who I am? Ooh. Ooh, I know this one! I know this one! Take me <laughs> Former Jeopardy contestants can be so obnoxious. You know, I'm starting to think he's not a nice guy. Paul? Paul? Do you see any Paul here? <laughs> no, but that one guy could pass for George Harrison. <laughs> That's a good one, Chief! A good one! Sorry, no Prince Paul here. Sorry, Mario, your prince is in another castle. You are a colonel in the Cheka. An imposter. A fake prince. Should have known. His Raspberry prince Beret didn't sound a thing like the real deal. In anticipation of this very day. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? No one, not even the Dowager Empress would believe you were the real princess. And I got them all to believe I am the real prince. Okay, so let me make sure I understand this. This guy murders a member of a royal family and then impersonates him for years on the off chance that the youngest Romanoff has survived and resurfaces to claim her identity so he can put on a big act and woo her and get engaged only to bump her off in an abandoned warehouse before the wedding. I'm starting to see why the Soviet Union was unsustainable. I knew I should have dated that nice Prince Hans and Instead. Who knows what stupidity lurks in the hearts of princesses? Actually, I noticed them. I just thought you needed a good orthodontist. Nice quick change act, though. He should go on Russia's Got Talent with that. We're gonna make everyone is I see the photographer unaware. went with the shapeless you void backdrop. I think I can change him. The world to know that I'm 
he is rocking those wow yoka thigh boots hey pump action revolvers well that was no hellfire i'll tell you that much now i have finally caught up and soon Iconovich will be in my grasp too. Because he's um look, I haven't exactly planned this out, so bear with me. Can I use the heat on the chief? Can I can Who knew Russia had its own Jar Jar Binks? This is not good. Definitely not good. I agree, that was one crappy villain number. She's been what? When? How? Who? What? Why? Where? What has happened to Anastasia? Oh, hi, Talking Harp. What? Well, do something. You are the police. After all, if you're a harp. Uh, not you. I I'll call you back. Harps can't talk. Then maybe that balalaika was telling me to burn things. So can I. Tuba? Do not forget me. It's the shock of losing two million pounds. I, I'm hallucinating. Explains why I got so friendly with the bedpost. I'm going to get Anastasia back. Maybe I'll take a nice lie down. I must have been hit harder on the head last night than I thought. Sorry, no rest until you murder your family. Look, I don't know where she is. I don't care where she is. And stop talking to me. Your instruments for crying out loud. What do you mean? You don't care. I don't care. I don't care. What's wrong? Those strings clogging up your ears? No, these big wads of bubblegum on the side of my head are. I'm sure he cares. I'm just in it for the money. That's all it's ever been. That's all? Absolutely. I'm no fool. A buffoon, it's sure, a but no fool. Nobody. He has Paul. Why would you want me? Where have you been, young man? My god. Now the accordion's talking. Oh, the accordion is what sets you over the edge. What? Where? When? What for? Quit choking your concertina. <laughs> Could you let me catch my breath for a second? I'm sorry. Please check up! He kept going on about nuclear vessels! He's a prince. Wrong again, soldier boy. I followed the kidnappers. Paul's really an agent of the revolution. He's no prince. I never trusted him. Must have been that obviously evil vibe he was giving off. got Anastasia. And he also wants you. Oh, please, movie. No threesomes. Me, you, and the rest of you talking instrument things against the secret police force of the revolution. Oh, great. You can serenade them to death. Wait, I thought you said you only cared about the money. You're right. I can just sell the lot of you and be set up for life. So you mean to tell me you made me carry you all the way from Moscow to Copenhagen and you instruments can walk? I mean, what's the point of being unnatural abominations if you're not going to use it? All right. Well, his mustache is more magnificent than mine, but I think I can take him. Correct. Then it's time for a little recital. Hey, no polka music after 10 p.m. What I shoot? Noise? Noise? Why, you tin-eared idiot? If I were human, I'd have you executed. Watch it. This guy has a hard head. And no appreciation for the arts. Shall we? Scooby? Shaggy? Good. Just some random thugs and the comic relief. This will be easy. Yes, sir. Of course we can. Then let's do it. Rhubarb, rhubarb, Russian rhubarb. Get them! Get them! Well, I suppose we could have moved or jumped over, but you know. You think he'd be a little more touchy about being shot at? And I'm just the dopey slapstick character! No ear for music, poor soul. You know, these probably aren't the finest that the Cheka has to offer. They're probably the bozos who got reassigned on this bogus Find the Lost Princess job to get them out of the way so the real secret police could get some work done. I found you. Oh, Vladimir Vasilyanov, my general. I've been such a fool. I don't care about the money, only you. Such a fool. I love you Please, let's heart. not argue. You're both idiots. So you first. I love you. 
And I love you. Meal oh, ticket, I mean Anastasia. How very touching. Because I have nothing but contempt for you both. Obviously, evil and speaks for all of us. Russia alive, so you could be hanged in your homeland. Hanged in your Nothing homeland. That. That's a magic treehouse no title, isn't it? Sentimentality. You won't have Anastasia. You won't have her. And what do you think you can possibly do about it? Uh, you got me. I was defeated by a steamer trunk. <laughs> if I keep shouting your name, will that help? Well, nice of the river to come over there for the finale. Um, Vladimir? Look, it's sweet of you to try, but we both know you're pretty much useless. Spring break in Copenhagen! Woo! Shoot, I don't have arms! I should have thought this through. Well, this is really gonna mess up their tuning. Well, good thing there was a trained rescue tuba on hand. Is he not dead? Oh, it's just like the ending of Beauty and the Beast. Except, you know, without the good animation, voice cast, music, general appeal. Don't go, Vladimir. Don't go. What will I do without you? I don't know. Probably fall for the next obviously evil creep prince that comes your way. We must tell her, but that will mean it is time. We've only got a few minutes of movie left. I'm going to lose him. I'm with him, my heart. You love him that much? Cause I mean, you were all over that creeper Paul like five minutes ago. For love that strong goes beyond life, beyond death, beyond Thunderdome. You can save him? How can that be? With faith and love, nothing is impossible. And Deus Ex Machina's. I always thought you were my guardian angel. And you never got callbacks from Disney. more than that. Don't tell her. You'll have to go if you tell her. Alexi, hush. We are your family, Anastasia. What a twist! Alexandra. Your brother, Alexi. Your sister, Titania. And your father, Zer Nicholas II. Oh, please. It's King Hubert in a goofy hat. Why didn't you tell me before? If we did, we'd have to go onwards. Besides, That's we thought you would have figured it out well before now. You really are no, dumber than a bag of hair, child. And Vladimir, too. No. Our going opens the way for the general's return. So heaven is on the you exchange study program? From your soul to his. Sing to him, my darling. Well, at least it's not that crappy In the Sun song. He would have turned right back around into the bright light if he had heard that one. Oh, 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 they're radioactive, radioactive. Honey, oh, um, excuse me. Oh, yeah, lovely song, daughter. Lovely song. No, no, it's not working. Maybe you need to try something a little more up tempo. It's starting over. Oh, man. We both know the Alright, alright, I'm waking up. Just shut up already. Good Remember who you are, Sim. I mean, Anastasia. I always love you. We love you, Tarzan. You're the greatest kid. Don't be afraid, my child. 
We shall always be with you. But who's gonna be my backup band now? Honey, I love you, but your family is just too weird for me. So did I, my darling. So did I. We shall always be with you in your heart. Hey, Evangeline! And so, General Vladimir Vasilyanov Ikonovich and Her Imperial Highness, Princess Anastasia Nikolaevna Romanov, live happily ever after. And how many accordions do you know who can say that? So up yours, Weird Al. Think I'm not good enough for you, huh? Well, to hell with you and your dumb polka medleys. I didn't even like Dare to be Stupid anyway. Hey, hey, where are you going? I'm not done yet! Oh, Megan only composed one song? I guess she was embarrassed to admit which one. Enrico Casarosa, I loved his Rigoletto. The background color was by Pandas. Ah yes, the best Chinese animation mills money can buy. Isn't this a music from an RPG from the 1980s? Craig Setti? Huh, must be starting over after that embarrassing episode with the Israelite slaves. United American Video, your one-stop shop for hastily produced mockbusters.